Erica, much of this collaboration with the city of Worcester will happen here at UMass Medical School, knowing it will take the work of many to get this done. We're in the teeth of a, a very large surge upon a surge. The surge in the city of the Seven Hills is sadly not unique. A mountain to climb in a raging pandemic. Worcester had 90 hospitalizations a day in November, now double that, and the need to get vaccines out of freezers and into arms. Without enough healthy medical workers to administer them, 380 between UMass Med and St. Vincent's either have the virus or are quarantining. We don't have a deep bench right now because back in the spring, we could call in other states that weren't having the same level of surge but there is no state right now that's not having the same level of surge. So it's going to take a team. Needed are more vaccinators, and that means medical students like Christopher Lee. It's pretty mind-blowing uh, when you think about the big picture of it. Um, personally, for me, it just feels amazing um, just to be able to play a role and help. Um, just because there's such an immense need. Graduate nursing students will teach 150 med students. They'll draw up saline like it's, you know, a vaccination and practice in the pad, and then they're going to inject each other in their arm with the saline. And in the end, the plan is to begin vaccinating 2,200 first responders in and around Worcester beginning on Monday. Long day of vaccination where we're thinking maybe 300 to 350 vaccinations a day. Uh, is is a tiring process. We don't want people to burn out. Have to keep all of this organized, the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences will make sure they handle logistics. We're live in Worcester. Josh Brogadier, WCVB News Center 5.